What's up, everybody? It's, it's Twin Soul, Soul Poets. And Mom. And we are your go-to couple for love and relationship advice. Dope spoken word poetry. In general, uplifting mm -hmm. content. We've got our special guest, who is Ma, today That's with me. us. And she'll be talking about her experience with the 369 cleanse. But first, we just wanted to let you know about our decision to stand in solidarity for um, Blackout Tuesday. So we did skip a day of posting on all of our platforms. Um, and we are now back getting into how day, what is this, day six? Today is day seven. Oh, so how day seven has gone. Look, we're doing so good, I just don't even know what day <laughs> it is. Day seven, I felt really good today. Um, I woke up feeling refreshed and uh, just really did not have the same kind of like hangry freak out type cravings today. I feel like it's definitely sort of gotten to a point of like over the curve mm -hmm. kind of um, thing. And as many people will talk about reaching that point at, at a cleanse cycle. And um, I really enjoyed being able to have potatoes today. That was really satisfying, especially- It was like, comforting. Yeah, dinner was very comforting. I like the soup. I also did soup with um, asparagus and potato that I had steamed and, and kind of blended up in our Vitamix, which if you don't have Vitamix and you're doing this plan, get you a Vitamix because yeah, it will, you need a Vitamix. Vitamix in your life. In your life. In your get life. a Vitamix in your in life. Your Vitamix, life. if y'all want to sponsor somebody, <laughs> come over here and, and get up in our life. <laughs> Because we love you guys. We yes. love our Vitamix. You know, we kind of took this day also as a time of reflection, as a time to just be with each other, and to kind of get clear. I went and got a pretty, pretty bracelet. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, my dad got it for me. I really like it. But it's got some rose quartz and some moonstone on there, and it just makes me feel good. And I think it's pretty. But um, we're back and better than ever. <laughs> So yeah, we just took this day to, to think about how we want to move forward and what we want to contribute. Well, we invited you in, Ma. What was your experience like while you did the cleanse? I was very excited about being involved with this cleanse and, you know, having the opportunity to um, eat better, you know, with the family as a group. Because, you know, I think when you're in a group, you, you feel encouraged. You know, and I was feeling encouraged. Ingrid, you did a lot of great work cooking all the yummy food. Thank you. Oh, the tacos were so delicious. The, the, the salmon. salmon tacos. I'm like, oh, I can do this. Um, I went in with a good attitude, good energy, because um, I really want, I, I want to feel better, and I want to drop some weight, you know, and just be healthy for the long haul. Day two was okay, but I said, I can do this. We're going to keep on the path. We're going to get to the finish line. Day three was good. Day three was wonderful. We had a, uh, chicken bowls. It was all healthy stuff. I usually make at home, but you know, Sad minus salt, salt, minus all the salt and the sauces Definitely. and all that kind of stuff. But when I got to day four, I was like getting kind of hangry. Uh, I got it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. I was really struggling. Day four is hard. Day four. Oh my god. Not necessarily. I don't want to put out there for anybody who's doing this that like to start dreading day four. It may or may not be. No. It's just different it's for different everybody for who's doing the cleanse. I just for want me. to say that because I don't yes. want you to watch this and be like dreading for day four. For me, it was hard. I was, I was okay. We all went through irritability mm -hmm. around the same time. Say day three and four, it all yeah. hit us. Yeah. But like in terms of being able to do it, I didn't have a problem. And I believe a lot of people might feel the same way. It just it just depends where your body's at, where, right. your, where your mind is at. That's That's mindset is... Well, I think I said all that to say, um, by the end of day four, I kind of tapped out. Uh, I was like, I, I, I have to stop. I have to eat, you know, you know some protein. Because by that time, we weren't eating protein, I think, was day four, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I decided to end my cleanse. That was the last day I cleansed. And at first, I felt kind of like I failed. But then I kind of reframed it, and, and I, I said to myself, you know, no, you didn't fail. You you did three days of a cleanse, and that's a success. And I felt better. I felt my energy felt good. I, I just felt good. I think even I told you about the floaters that I experienced in my Yeah, life, I talked about that. That too. I didn't notice yeah. them. So I look at it as a successful three days of cleansing. And what do you take from it? Like, when you reflect on it, what do you take I've from taken it? I've taken away better eating habits. The following morning, I got up, and I think I juiced. I still juiced. And for dinner that night, I didn't stack on a lot of junk. I didn't stack on anything. Mm -hmm. But that night for dinner, I had a salad, but I just added some chicken to it. So I've had a modified version of the cleanse, and I, I was great. 
There is actually, um, in the book, there's a kind of lighter version of the cleanse, I believe, that kind of more stays around the first three-day experience throughout. Um, but he does say that, like, of the three, you know, the deeper you go, the more you're going to cleanse mm -hmm. um, from your liver. So it just kind of depends what your goals are. But Mom makes a good point, too, is, like, if you are creating new habits, like, it, it is a process, and it's not, like you know, a nine, nine day cleanse is gonna, like, you have, you're gonna go on after the cleanse and like things, even if you don't make it all the way through and you decide this is, feels too difficult, you know, that I don't think I can make it, like, you're still picking up things that are going to carry forward with you. There's still benefits to it no matter where you go and especially if you continue some of those habits. And the important thing is don't beat up on yourself. You just yeah. pat yourself on the back. Every little step that you do is important and you do as much as you can. And then, you know, I just, again, I consider it a success. I successfully did the cleanse for three days. I don't look at it as a failure. Good on you. Thank you. That's yes. Say. Next time you see us, we will be on day eight. Hey. Which Round of applause. is awesome. And then there's two more days. Mm -hmm. Stop talking! <laughs> we'll see you guys on uh, day eight. Give make them some, oh, give yeah. them some face, Mom. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you subscribe enjoy down. our content. Yeah, down there. And um, leave a comment below if you would like, if you have any questions or comments about your own cleansing experience. And um, yeah. Don't you think my mom should do like a hair channel, like for natural hair? Both of y'all, man. I'm like, yeah, so, much, so, much, like, so the, much hair. We need to represent the salt and pepper. If you think my mom should do her own channel, <laughs> tell us in the comments. <laughs> and especially if you're a natural, especially if you have your natural hair or you're trying to grow out your natural hair and you would love to see someone like my mom. They, both of y'all, both of y'all could do a natural hair channel. We should do it together. Ooh. No, you crazy. What? We kill not? each other. We literally kill each other. You bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do my same pose. Oh, I did. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't Look, this is my pose. You got it from me. Mm -mm.